Uh, abstract brainwaves, game genie in the beanie We ain't on the same stage, leveled up uh, The epitome of technique, can't survive in my current thought Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video And it's time to go beyond, yes Niantic dropped probably the biggest update ever Like, ever in the game All at one time Why is it so big? There's announcements within the announcements. There's like four or five different links within this one announcement and so big, they haven't even put it in the game news. Uh, before I hit play on this or record, excuse me, I cannot find it in the game at all. Here's what it is, y'all. First and foremost, let me correct something I did last video. I said the 22nd of this month being November, is when the Electabuzz, or I'm sorry, not Electabuzz, I keep making so many mistakes. Did I tell y'all I just got back to the house? <laughs> if not, I just got back in the house. Magmar Community Day is going to be on the 21st. That is Saturday, not Sunday. I got in the rhythm and routine of it being on Sunday. It is Saturday, so not even a few more days from now, we will have Magmar. Going back to this, the go beyond it has me thinking of, you know, REM. It has me thinking of Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond, you know. And then, of course, My Hero Academia. <clears throat> but what is this in reference to? It's to go beyond level 40. It's finally here. I prophesied it. I predicted it. It's, I don't even really want to take credit for it. It was just anybody who's been playing this game for a while. They kind of told you it was coming out this year, and based off of other releases, you knew this was happening. I said December, well, November 30th, which, you know, let's say Australia is the 20, it's the 30th, it could be the 29th for us. Same deal, right? But still close to December. It's where Gen 6 is also coming. It's where they're going to redo the battle system. It's where they're going to you know, push you to get more XP if you're not level 40. I mean, there's just so much. We're going to start talking about all of it right here and now. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. This is a little bit slow earlier, and I had to wait to get home to share it with you. But uh, <clears throat> let me try to record my screen because this is going to be a lot to unpack, and I'm not sure the rest of the links are going to even do what they need to. But here it is. All right. As my Go session just ended with my gotcha. November 18th, Go Beyond. The Pokemon Go journey continues beyond. <clears throat> now, they've got a video here. We're not going to click on that. You can watch that on your own. Trainers, since we began our journey together over four years ago. Feels like five, doesn't it? 2016, 17, 18, 19, 2020. Maybe they're just saying because it's not over yet. I don't know. Pokemon Go has evolved in so many ways. See what they did there, evolved evolution. From the addition of battles, <clears throat> excuse me, raid battles, trainer battles, and Team Go rocket battles to discovery of over 600 different Pokemon that can be encountered in the game. The world of Pokemon Go has continued to change and expand in exciting ways. Very true. The week of Monday... November 30th, so the week of, they didn't specify exactly when, but the week of, so hey, 30 days in November, it still could be December. Don't at me. Pokemon Go will go beyond. We'll be making big changes to how trainers can level up and implementing seasons. Yes, something I said last video. Did y'all see that? Last video. I told you, I said, it would be dope if they changed the background for Professor Willow and showcase different seasons. So maybe somebody was thinking like me already because it's so quick that they've got this. No, I don't have insider info. I'm not these other YouTubers that, you know, they get to make their videos in advance because they have insider news from Niantic. No, I'm just a hardcore gamer like the rest of you. Hardcore in some games, not all games, but I'm a gamer just like you. And if you're watching this, you already knew this was happening as far as the seasons because if you've got the Deerling, 
they showed you in the Pokedex, there's different forms of it based off the season. But you don't, you no longer have to wait for that season to necessarily happen all at one time because they're making it to where, hey, if it's fall over in one part of the world, it's another season in a different part of the world, respective to where you are, right? So somebody in theory could trade you a deerling that's fall or summer where they're at, and you've got that variant, and vice versa. Awesome. All right? Not only that, but Pokemon originally discovered in the Kalos region will be coming to Pokemon Go. The most famous, Greninja. Yes! Yes! Greninja will be here. I'm excited for that. I know I just saw Shiny Gengar, Shiny Mega Gengar, excuse me, and I was, yeah, and now I'm kind of looking past that for this Greninja. It is what it is, though. So they follow that up with level up redesign coming soon. And we're going to ignore this message here. Level cap increased to 50. Oh my gosh, all these alerts. Uh, for the first time since the game's launch, leveling up in Pokemon Go is getting rebalanced. There have been many features added and changes made to the game over the years. We revisited them and making, or re we've revisited them to make leveling more fun than ever. We'll see what that means. I kind of have an idea, and I did watch one other YouTuber's video, and it answered a question that I was going to ask. So I'll reveal that shortly. Let me get through this. Trainers who have reached level 40 will soon have the opportunity to level up to level 50. Be one of the first to earn bragging rights as a level 50 trainer. That is, if you're up to the challenge. Oh, you know we all are. Homie, if you're watching this video, lady, if you're watching this video, you know back in the day, folks were in the cemetery around here riding around like madmen and women trying to grind, wasting gas like madmen and women trying to grind, walking wherever in their clicks trying to get to level 40. <clears throat> now they've raised the bar like a lawyer. And I'm not trying to rap right now. Rap Ninja is not a thing on this channel anymore. But here we go. For players who haven't reached level 40 yet, you'll find leveling up easier than ever before with adjustments to the various ways you can earn XP. Read more here. So we're not going to click on that link right now. But what it means is, because I've already read it, well, they told you they're going to make it easier. How much more easier can they make it? You've got raids now. We didn't have that day one. You've got friends that you can add, you know, and give and send gifts, right? Give and send gifts. You can give and receive gifts, right? Um, you know, they're giving away lucky eggs like candy. Speaking of candy, I mean, there's going to be a new way to kind of get to level 50 with a certain type of candy. But let's let's keep going here. <clears throat> They're going to give you double XP for the rest of the year. From that moment on to the rest of the year, double XP. Because what that means is, for me, having another account that I use that I seldom turn on, it's just to help out with the raids. I'm somewhere around 38. It's time to get to 40. Because they're going to do something special for you once you get to 40. They're going to allow you, without clicking on this link, they're going to allow you to get like some kind of badge or medal or both. And also a hat, a Gyarados hat, commemorating that you, before midnight, December 31st, you know, January 1st, that you got to level 40. So what that means is, for everybody else who's 40 right now, your experience, this is what I learned just now, your experience still counts. You're not capped. Right now, all that stuff rolls over. So for folks like me who haven't been using Lucky Eggs, shame on us. We should have been using those. The kicker is you're going to have tasks that you have to do in addition to the experience. So you may have the task done and not the experience or vice versa. That's going to block you. That's going to be the red tape for you getting to the next level. But don't fret. Now is the time. Lucky Eggs still matter. We can still make the best of... It's no rush. It's just 10 levels, right? It ain't another 40 levels like it, you know, could have been. You're not prestiging like I would have liked. But, hey, it's better than nothing just to see the four 
one. Just to see that big four one is going to be great. Why is it going to be great? Well, let me tell you. The competition kept this game going for a while, and that's going to return. It's been gone for the longest. It's been relegated to the Go Battle League. Some of you, you know, enjoy that to what it is, and that's fine. But the competition to be out in the street saying, what level are you? And saying, oh, I'm 40. It used to mean something. It doesn't anymore because almost everybody's 40. You know, it's a great time if you stop playing and want to get to level 40. Hey, let us 40 players carry you. We'll help you. We don't mind. Those of us who are still playing. God, I can't believe I'm still playing. <laughs> I'm still playing this game. Okay, so I'm rambling right now. But that's what it is. You've got the seasons and level 50. What's going to be cool is you can level up your Pokemon past level 40. Normally, uh, and shout out to Trainer Tips for this information. Normally, because this is straight from Niantic. I wouldn't have known this otherwise. We'd be making another video talking about it. But you know we will when it gets closer to November 30th. I'm just hyped right now. Normally, you can be level 38 and max your Pokemon all the way out to 40, right? You can always go two levels up. But now, you can go from 40 all the way to 50. The kicker is you can't use Pokemon that you've evolved past 40 into these battle leagues, at least not yet. They want to make it an even playing field. It wouldn't be fair. You just maxed out your level 50 Dragonite and just started mollywhopping people. No, they're not going to allow that. But hey, you could... Still bring that into raids, right? A monster. <clears throat> How can you get those Pokemon to 50? You got to have a special type of candy. You can combine your rare candy. Some of you have a thousand of them, from what I've seen. A lot of you have hundreds of them, myself included. Now is going to be the time to actually free up some bag space. We've got the Pokemon home that allowed us to free up some Pokemon storage. The item storage, well, now is the time to clear that out. I wish they, I, I think they'll get to it just because I'm speaking it into existence. They're going to find a way to allow you to store items or transfer items to other people or other accounts. That has to happen. If you don't want us to give them to other people because, well, that affects your store, allow us to send these items to Pokemon Sword and Shield. That way I'm just not deleting them. Give me that option. I want to be able to take my raspberries or whatever and move those in another game where I'm not paying for those, but I don't want to walk around the wild or go to an in-game shop for them. Let me get those there, Niantic. How about that? So, back on task here. Kalos Pokemon, they've got a few of them. And what they're saying here is, you know, so far in Pokemon Go, we've encountered Pokemon originally discovered in Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, and the Galar region. Starting Wednesday, December 2nd, we'll be meeting Pokemon first discovered in the region where dreams and adventures begin. That is Pokemon X and Y, okay? So if you're following with the games, Gen 6, that's it right there. It feels timely. Uh, oh, it says, with the recent arrival of Mega Evolution, it feels timely that Pokemon originally discovered in the Kalos region, the region where Mega Evolution was first discovered, will be making their debut. So... Uh, I expect more Mega Evolution stuff happening in December. I also expect, you know, just a slow rollout of these Pokemon, mainly these starters. I believe they'll drop, like, you know, the first three, and there are three evolutions, right? So there's, what, nine Pokemon there? And then they'll put, like, you know, a good five or six with their evolutions and that gives you like 20 to 30 they're not gonna start milking them all out just yet but expect that in december like they've been doing at the end of every year but wait there's more like the rest of 2020 12 days of friendship event there's what two weeks left of this month so all this is coming you've got 12 days here so if you waited because you read about this this morning 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5 p.m. here, and a quarter of an hour left into uh, 5 p.m. my time, my local time, you could send and open gifts now, and it will double the friendship. Well, I don't know if it doubles, but it increases it. To prepare, to prepare for these exciting developments, 
there will be a series of exciting bonuses today as we kick off our 12 Days of Friendship event. After the Go Battle, or after the Go Beyond update goes live, there will be lots to do in December to help take advantage of the changes, such as December Community Day and holiday, or and fun holiday events. Read more here. We're not going to read that just yet. But feel free to click on this, PokemonGoLive.com, and uh, get more information there. All right. <clears throat> so... Since 2016, a lot has changed both in the real world and in Pokemon Go. And they're talking about the pandemic here. What haven't changed, what hasn't changed, however, is the fact that we have each other and our Pokemon. Aw. Real talk, real, real moment, we do have each other. That's what's kept this game going for so long. And they're finally revamping this game to make it what it could have been years ago. And the blessing is that if you're still here with them, with us, with me, you get to take part in this, and uh, your investment has not been forsaken. A lot of these pay-to-play games or just video games, period, you eventually move on from them, and Pokemon Go is not going out without a fight. When they said they had a five-, six-year plan, they were legit for real. And, you know, they're on Generation 8 now in the games. Here they are catching up to them Generation 6. So next year or the year after, when they get Generation 9 in the mainline games, expect Niantic to follow right back up with Gen 7 at some point. So thank you, Niantic, for that. <clears throat> I don't say thank you enough. That's another thank you. All right. So, you know, as Pokemon Go has grown, you know, we have this community here. That's what they're telling you. The game has grown beyond our wildest imaginations, and we're thrilled to see it continue strong four years later it wouldn't have been possible without all of you now it's time to go beyond together please be aware of your surroundings and follow okay so yeah they're telling you to be safe and be careful and watch out for each other so i'm going to end the recording right there okay so i believe we covered everything there's some more clothing and things like that they've got going on <clears throat> the actual uh, friendship event it ends Monday the th November 30th at 1pm so basically right when the level increase begins that's when this friendship stuff stops because you're probably going to have a friendship thing that's part of one of these levels for sure but yeah they're telling you hey from Wednesday the 18th now until December 31st the end of the year twice the XP so it is double XP so hey You've got to get those lucky eggs going, all right? So everything I told you is what it is. This has been a long-winded video uh, already, and this just in. Trade distance has been increased again. I, I likely thought it wouldn't go away, but it's here again. So we can trade from up to 12 kilometers. Uh, I did a trade the other day. I, I think I showed that in my last video. And by last video, I mean Pokemon Home video not sure if my Electabuzz Community Day video is up yet, but it should be by the time you see this, because this has got to go up soon. It's just so much, I don't think it can wait. I'll probably have it up tomorrow, the following day. And if you have any questions, hit me. A lot of you are still confused. You're wondering, do I still need the Switch? You no longer need the Switch. It was great what we could do with the Switch. I took one for the team, bought Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. We raised a lot of awareness and canned goods for our community here in High Point. I know some of you have mimicked that idea and done something similar around the world. Very positive, a very positive thing that I think I'll always be remembered for, remember in my heart. But you no longer need to do that. We're still gonna do stuff for the community and I'll still do something Pokemon Go related as I see fit with the community when I can. That being said, you no longer need that uh, Switch you can get a melt-in box by downloading Pokemon Home. <clears throat> you just need that. You don't need to link up with a friend. You don't need to buy a Switch. You need to create an account for Pokemon Home with a Nintendo account or something like that and link it up with your game. Once you do that, you can trade Pokemon. You get a mystery box. Right now, it's double XP and all that. Shiny Melton is here. It's a great time to play Pokemon Go. If you stop playing and you see this video because you support your boy, Get back in the game. We miss you. We need you. We'd love to have you back. If you're still with me rocking this out, 
how exciting, what a fun time to be alive. And I'm going to end it with the same way All Might, if you watch My Hero Academia says. Next time, we're going to go beyond Plus Ultra! Captain Sensation! <laughs>